Hi guys, welcome to Ditsy's Diamond Den. So, I am going to be opening up Lucy, which was not a part of my Black Friday Cyber Monday. I have finally unboxed all of those, although you may not get them all in the same order uh, that I unboxed them. So this girl is gigantic. She is a 22 by 48 inch. She is five foot long. 55 0.8 centimeter by 121.8 centimeters. She is um, a square as indicated and it is by Micah Jelena. I do not know if I am pronouncing her name correctly. If you know how to pronounce it, please let me know. Um, I am a little bit frightened. So for reference, this is giant, okay? So this is a really, really big one with it being so long. And I can already tell it is just fluffing out of here. So usually I get the smaller ones. This is such a small box. If you compare it to the ones that I usually get that are big boxes. So I'm a little bit worried about getting her open and then putting her actually back in this. So I might film that just to show you how to get these large canvases back in because you should be opening your canvases when you get them and checking to make sure that it has all of the contents before you store them into your stash. So there she is. Lucy is my small sticker. She is gorgeous. I am thinking about going into DP Sparklers and buying some customs for this one which will be my First one that I buy customs for. Let's get open this toolkit, ripped it, I'm going all out of order here. We want to give Gear Helper the drills. And thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. Me and Gear Helper have been having a blast putting all of these videos together for you, and we enjoy it so much and we appreciate you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Alright, so for my noise sensitive viewers, Dear Helper is going to take these out and put them in a different room. But I did want to just kind of show you these drills. They are gorgeous colors in there. I can already see some ABs that look just amazing. Very excited about that. We have our thank you for your purchase tips, tricks, step-by-step -step tutorial videos, and app information. Get into this toolkit here and let's see what we got going on. So we have a couple different things. We have our Ziploc bags. We have a green squishy. This is more like a teal. I don't think I've gotten like a teal one quite this color before. It's pretty. We have our cover minder, which is the peach rose. I do have this one. We have our four and seven for multi-placing. We have our pink wax. Make sure you peel off the edges to get to the wax if you're new to diamond painting. We have our tray uh, with the stopper. It is a square, so it does come with very sharp tweezers. Uh, rounds will not come with tweezers. And then we do have a washi tape, which has many different uses. And here is what this particular washi tape looks like. Very pretty. Let's, let's move all that off to the side. We, it does come with a big sticker sheet for your logbook. This whole entire side is a sticker that you can cut off. And then over here is your stickers for your containers. You can peel those right off, put them right on your containers. We do have some ABs in this particular one. We do have three, 141 to 105. Um, anything 149 and under is going to be an AB. An AB is an Aurora Borealis. It does have a rainbow coating on the top that does resemble the Alaskan Aurora Borealis. They're gorgeous, and I will point them out as we go through the drills. We do also have a special drill. Those will always be at the bottom of the list, and they have a Z, L, K, or E. This one has a Z, which stands for the fairy dust, which has a, um, it doesn't have an outside coating. It is just like a glitter bomb drill, 
which is very gorgeous and that is in that teal color so I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and roll her backwards. This is a poured canvas so I can do this. So if you are new to Diamond Art Club or new to any of the newer companies that do um, make sure that their kits are licensed, they're almost always going to be the poured canvases and you can roll those backwards. And I would like to talk a little bit about licensing because I don't do that in all of my videos. Diamond Art Club pays their artists. If you are not an artist, but even, I mean, think about how long it takes you to do these diamond paintings. You know, a lot of these take up to 100 hours. And we don't even have to actually conceptually come up with the idea and take the time to draw these and paint these. It is really important that artists are getting compensated for their work. So you do want to make sure that you are trying to buy from people that are, oh my goodness, that are paying their artists. And you can see right here, copyrighted. Diamond Art Club is making sure that she gets paid for her hard work. Okay, I'm gonna slowly come down. Doo, doo, doo. This thing is monstrous. I think I might also have Dear Helper take a picture, maybe of me holding it, so you can get an idea of the size that she is. She's got a map right here. She's an adventure. Love the nails. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Look at, oh, look at that necklace. I like that big belt this buckle. This is huge. <laughs> I know. So this is what I'm thinking about. Um, maybe getting some drills from DP Sparklers. Because I think her wings would be really awesome if I put some metallic inside of her wings to give them a steel look. Yeah, cool. I think it'll look very cool. Love her curly hair. That is going to come out so amazing. Oh my goodness. Hot air balloons in the back. Yeah, I know. And her hat. I love little top hats like this. I swear, if I could pull off a hat, I would wear a top hat like Slash all the time. And, you know, I'm just a really big fan of when they have like these portrait uh, in the back and they have the filigree. I absolutely love it. And this filigree looks like it is going to be amazing. It looks like this is going to be a really, really nice. Um, it's going to have some color blocking and it's also going to have some areas where it is going to be confetti. I'd say it's probably three fourths color blocking and one fourth confetti, but it is going to have a mixture of both. So let's go ahead and get into the drills and then I will show you where these special drills are. And I think, yeah, I'm going to have to have Dare Helper take a picture. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'm really scared of trying to get her put back together. She was already bursting at the seams. She's going to have, she has such a vibrancy of different colors also. And she'll look really good in her bedroom. Oh yeah. With the colors that she is. Definitely. So we've got, oh my goodness, two, four, six, eight, ten bags of 310. I've had more. I can do this. I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have three bags of the 160. Pretty. Ooh, two bags of this 3808, and that is some pretty turquoise. Oh, wow. We've got uh, two bags of the 310, and we've got our first uh, Aurora Borealis, our AB. I'm going to go ahead and flip that around in case you are new and have never got to see that particular color before. Isn't that pretty? See how it kind of shimmers the rainbow. Bright and sparkly. I love gray. We've got three, four, four bags of this 318. I know some people don't like gray, but I actually wear a lot of gray. A lot of my household stuff is in gray. We've got four 13, three bags of those. Oh my goodness, three bags of the 105 ABs. I have worked with these. I actually have these in my first diamond painting that I ever did, which was the Mad Queen Alice. 
well the first diamond art club one that I ever did and these are gorgeous you might look at them and be like oh they don't look like much I promise you once they're on they come out very pretty it's a nice color gray I just worked on this with my Christmas yeah, bunny I, I and it came out gray. really nice yeah, I saw that on the Christmas bunny too the other day. Uh, here's uh, two bags of the 632 got some greens two bags of 898 oh, 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 oh. pretty okay some of these blues are just blowing my mind what is this Two bags of fairy dust sitting all by themselves trying to get lost here. So this is the Z3849. This is a fairy dust of that turquoise that I was really digging. I don't know how good of a look we're going to get in here because these are packed. There is a lot of this fairy dust in this. I'm very excited about these. I'm going to set those off to the side because I swear as soon as the camera's off, I'm going to do an ah and maybe jump up and down a little bit over those. So we have two bags of the 839, two bags of the 415, oh, some of these blues are just, and gray and blues just look so good together, I think, especially when you start getting into the teal and turquoise, oh that is gorgeous, that is a pretty color red. This is gonna, it's got some colors that are just so muted and other ones that are so vibrant and I am really excited to see how those are going to like mesh together. I bet it's just gonna be incredible. Yeah, cause some of these are like so muted while others are just so, vi so just like so bright. That was a pretty gray too. I'm really excited about all these grays. Oh, that's a pretty color. Look at all these pretty turquoises. I never realized they had so many different tur uh, like different shades of the tur turquoise. It's crazy. Here's our last AB. That is the 122 in green. Actually, that is yes, that is the last AB. Look at that. You can really see the shimmer in that so pretty so here's the very last of our colors oh that looks almost glow in the dark i know it doesn't have an e so it's not going to be the glow in the dark but oh uh, i want to see these in a halloween in glow in the dark yes yeah, oh wow ah oh, that is a really pretty kind of beige color all right there's some gorgeous drills so, not gonna lie, I'm the most excited about these. They are so shimmery, they are so sparkly. All right, let's see if we can find where at least some of these special drills go. There's no way I'm gonna be able to point out all the areas, but I am gonna point out the obvious. So, that pretty like gold AB I was telling you about, that I said in the bag it doesn't look as exciting as it will on your canvas, that's gonna be over here in her suitcase. And up here, and we're going to have some over here in her, like, what almost looks like a tiara for her belt. It's just her sock filigree. Um, and then we are going to also have uh, some of the green and some of the blue. So I'm going to continue looking for those as I move up. So I can see some of the white AB is going to be right through here. And we've got some of the blue fairy dust in here. And the white is kind of sprinkled throughout her feather because her pen is a feather pen. Um, she's got white up her arms. We've got some more of that fairy dust right here in her necklace. Um, we also have some of the white AB and that gold AB in her necklace. And we've got some of the white going all the way around the mirror in her wings up here on her necklace and we also have some of the white throughout her hair in her hot air balloons so the white is going to be in her hat it's going to be kind of just all over the place 
The number two for the green is going to be in her glasses is where you're going to get that little bit of AB green that we saw. And her eyes are also going to be that blue fairy dust. We also have that blue fairy dust is all throughout. So all of these dark blues that you're seeing on the outskirts is going to be that fairy dust. So we are really excited to do these. She's got some amazing feathers going on. She has got her hat. I mean, just a ridiculous amount. And this one is definitely a very goodish amount of color blocking. And it's going to have a whole bunch of confetti also. So basically, the whole entire outside is going to be color blocking. But we are going to have a lot of confetti um, in you know, this general area, like all throughout the mirror area is going to be confetti. Well, the rest of it is going to be a lot of color blocking. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.